Hey everybody. I'm just gonna I'm an amalgamation of everyone I have ever watched. I feel like that's how most like personalities in general are formed. Like I don't know what's uniquely me anymore and what's like stuff that I borrowed that I've really liked from other people. I am a colorful tapestry of everyone but me. <laughs> me up to see those whiskey glasses you have because I keep thinking, fuck, the stems broke, but they never had stems. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I really like this because it's not carbonated. It will not hurt my stupid seat. Okay, let's see. Um... Can I get your assistance getting out my stoneware? Yeah, I really like my, my stone pan for making mm, pie crust. Ooh. It's at the very, very bottom, not at the bottom of the stone stack, but... Yeah. I'm just going to give this a little top off. So the round one? Yeah. I don't know if turkey pot pie would uh, function otherwise. Yeah. I'm going to just put this back here for now. Debating about whether I want to grab a bandana or a hair tie. But either way, this hair needs to get the fuck out of my face. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, quite. Are you are you the one person? I'm You are the one person. I'm, I have a young view. Delightful. Oh, thank you. Crafted for bandana like cooking mama. <laughs> there, now my hair's out of my fucking face. There is uh, many fuckeries I get up to in the Discord. By many, I mean damn near midnight. I'll be like, I want cake, and then I'll make cake, and then I'll post about the cake. You said you had found a way, maybe, to get a uh, chat in the videos for YouTube? Oh, yeah, I never really looked into that. Um... Because I know some people do that. Yes. And our chat is not nearly busy enough to uh, worry about. No, but like sometimes I just start talking randomly after right, staring no. intently at the computer. My, my point is, that's a reason to put it in there. Oh, because it's not just spam? Because it's not just spam and yeah. like unmoderated bullshit. 
Oh, God. Have it help me the day I need a fucking moderator, which, you know, probably never gonna happen because I don't think I'll ever get that popular, nor do I think I actually want to be that popular. <laughs> you dig? You feel? I do. Like, in theory, it's nice, but as I understand it in practice, <laughs> fuck that. Getting my fucking booty on beach! Fuck! Everything's fine. I almost got attacked by rose pink latte. It's fine. Everything's fine. Bonkers. I'm just going to get a strainer. Uh, um, some instructions on how to do it. Do it. So it's going to work. Uh, do it. Let's see here. Oh, is that Cersei? No. Why did I think that was Cersei? Huh. Uh, I might have to look them up. So little familiar. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why though. I don't. I don't know yeah. <laughs> Alright, the thing I found was not what I was looking for. Long tail. My old lady transformation is almost complete. I've got flower aprons. I've got my glasses with the with the chain on them so I don't fucking lose them. Bandana, it's cooking, it's, it's cooking cobalt time. Hello, I'm making turkey pot pie today with leftovers from redemption turkey. So first we're going to do the filling, and then while the filling is cooling, we can then make the pie crust. So here I've got all of this lovely redemption turkey that needs to be eaten. So we're going to transform a good portion of it into mm, pot pie. So let's see, I need a, haha, <laughs> I need a pot for my pot pie uh, to make the filling. So I'm going to get my large boy out. Is Mr. Kobold is trying to figure out how to get chat in my recording because as I'm, as I'm live streaming this, we are saving recordings for later to put up on our YouTube channel. So we have like a, I don't know, just something to show for it. It's not just, you know, immaterial. Okay, this, so along with 
turkey. I also had all of these roasted vegetables and stuff that I had put in the, um, the roasting pan with the turkey. So I'm also going to use these. And there's potatoes, some onions, some carrots. And then I've got some canned peas over here that I'm draining. And that'll go into the mix as well. Um, and this is a basic Betty Crocker recipe that I found. Um, I will be uh, memifying it, basically doing <laughs> whatever I want to it to make it more suited to my taste. That's kind of how I view a lot of recipes are uh, <laughs> like the pirate's code. It's not so much of a code as it's a guideline. Um, and like I understand that some people do want to follow a recipe to the letter. Um, but after a while, you... I don't know, me personally, I get the urge to, to, to fuck with it. I want to fuck with it. <laughs> I want to make it my own. I want to make it delicious. I want to make it tasty. Because note that the Betty Crocker recipe over here has uh, no mention of spices. There are no horbs. Are you kidding me, woman? Like, no. No, 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 Betty, 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 no. We want horbs and spices in our goodness. So we're going to melt down. A, what is that? Jesus Christ, a third cup. We're going to melt down a third cup of margarine. And I'm using margarine for the filling because I'm using butter for the crust. you got to use butter for the crust. So I'm, And I don't have much of a figure, but I'm trying to watch what I do have. And margarine is uh, so much less caloric. Yeah, that's a third cup. It's so much less caloric than butter. Unfortunately, at I require spatchies. Yeah, my stove is not on yet, by the way, so I can be a dumb bitch and leave my plastic and rubber measuring cups at the bottom for now. All right, I think what I'm going to do for the vegetables. Um, to make them more high size, is I'm just gonna uh, cut them up a little bit smaller, I think, is what I wanna do. I think that's what I wanna do. I need, I need a knife over here, excellent. So like this onion here, I'm just gonna, oh yeah, th that, that is still really crunchy, holy shit. Uh, I'm gonna get a tiny cutting board. I thought I could just cut them in the bowl. I am wrong. All oh, they left. Sadness. I'm not, I'm not sure it was even... No, there was a person there. There were two people. Yeah, I think I had it open in two places. Oh, ho, ho, ho. damn it, Shane. I know. You've hurt my okay. feet. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Um, there's probably... Calls for a third cup of... no. No, it does call for a third cup of onions. I'm going to assume this is a third cup and just use them all up. They're a little... a little soggy and full of turkey flavor at the moment, which is just going to make it better in my opinion. Alright, we're getting there. What's going on? Uh, the chat. Chat. What's going on with chat? I am creating a small browser window inside the stream. I feel like I want a better knife, but I've already dirtied this one, so I'm just going to commit to suffering. <laughs> because I want to respect our roommate who does our dishes, who is lovely. Uh, and not make more dishes than what is absolutely necessary. There. And then... Well, we did briefly have... 
Paco Maniac Ford Polo. Ah, they're still there. Oh, hello! They asked me how was your New Year's. It was very chill. I made a cake because I was craving something sweet for New Year's, so I made a kind of a tiramisu, but not. Yes, and chat is on the thing. Oh, hell yeah! So it'll export to YouTube. Please don't say horrible things. We'll have to edit the video, and I really don't want to have to edit videos. <laughs> I like that you automatically assume it would just do you editing them because we all know that I don't fucking edit <laughs> shit. I'm I'm like the the director or whatever. You you are manager, director, editor. <laughs> uh, basically everything that I basically everything else. <laughs> I am literally just the entertainment. Um but yeah, no, I, uh... The talent, as they say. Is, uh... Mr. Cobalt Shane, uh... Played, what was it, 40 games of uh, Among Us? I sure did. And I'm a fairly introverted person, so I was okay just hanging out in the other room, uh, playing Animal Crossing. That was That's where I spent my New Year's, was in my on my island. <laughs> um... And I was also watching more of this documentary that I started watching on HBO Plus, the uh, the, the Golden State Killer thing, because uh, it's not enough that I have just general anxiety. I've got to have anxiety about everything. Um, but no, I've always been really interested in, like, true crime cases and everything. Like, I, I'm i honestly surprised I just now found her, but Bailey Sarian on uh, YouTube, like, it really does feel like... A really like girly friend of mine just shooting the shit while putting on her makeup about these fucking assholes, and it's just it's so just fascinating to listen to her. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I was watching the 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 HBO uh, uh, was it Golden State or Golden the, the 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 Golden Killer motherfucker guy, rapist piece of shit. Um. So the cool thing about that is after... Yes, uh, Golden State Killer. The Golden State Killer. After um, I started watching the documentary, because that wasn't the first night I started watching it. I was watching it the previous night, and was just continuing on uh, New Year's Eve. Um, but it made Shane curious enough to want to, like, Google it a little bit. And apparently, like, what was it, three or four months after the documentary was actually released, um, they caught the fucker. They actually caught him after all these goddamn years. Yep. And I thought that was just real fucking cool. Like, what he wasn't caught because, because of the documentary or anything, but I still thought it was really neat that, you know, the timing of it all, I suppose. Should just put my onions in the oven every time before I cut them because I like onions are the fucking bane of my existence when they're fresh. Like I am like tears pouring down my face, not coming out of my nose. It's an ugly mess. Like I'm just particularly overly sensitive to onions, like raw uncooked onions, just absolutely terrible. Hate it. Love the flavor, love their flavor, but they have to be super well cooked for me to not like have a stomach ache afterwards. And since these have already been roasted in the oven, cooking them in this pot pie filling should get them nice and soft and whatever it is in them that gives me upset tummies uh, should be well and truly cooked the fuck out. And then today, it's a, it's a little rainy, a little cold, a little drizzly here, but I took the baby, the pupper, took her for a jaunt around the neighborhood. And it was just really nice. Like, she's gotten pretty mellow in her old age. I think she's about 10 now, like 9 or 10. And when she was really little and just excited to just exist and, and be near me, uh, she would want to, like, pull ahead and explore everything, sniff everything. Uh, now she's fairly content to just kind of more or less stay by my side without pulling on me, which is great because I have to walk with a cane now. Um, like, when I'm going out and about just for... Uh, like, peace of mind, really, like, because, like, I, maybe I should be using it around the house, but I feel comfortable enough in my own home that if I were to say, like, collapse all of a sudden, uh, I'd be safe enough. Uh, whereas out in the big wide world, like, when I'm grocery shopping, uh, I prefer to have my cane on me 
at all times because my legs have been known to just kind of decide to not work. Um, and also low back problems, so the cane is really helpful for that. So how is Chats New Year's? Did anybody get into anything interesting? I know COVID's going on and everything, so bare minimum social distancing should have happened. But I hope everyone else had a equally chill and pleasant evening. These onions smell really good. They soaked in all of the turkey pan juices. So they should be nice and flavorful. Cook them up. Alrighty. Now the rest of these are root vegetables, so potatoes and carrots, so just kind of getting them in the, yeah, just gonna slice them up a bit, make them a little bit more bite-sized. Because these are, I guess, bite-sized if you've got a huge mouth, but I've got a little mouth. Big attitude, little mouth. So we're just gonna just slice these up a little bit. Oi, you. Yeah, that looks good. All right, I'm going to take a second to wash the grease off of my hands, and then I'm going to start turning on this pot to melt down and saute our onions. seem to have dropped some onions on the floor. I will get them. Six, seven, eight. Oh, if I'm still going by eight, probably likely. I need to take more medication. Okay. You got to for that? Mm, I guess. <sighs> okay, Google. Set a timer for one and a half hours. Second timer for one hour and 30 minutes. Thank and that's starting now. All right. All right. So let's see. I think I want to use white pepper for this. And then I've got this little thing of salt over here that I want. Um... My spice rack is right behind the laptop, so I'm just going to scooch this a wee bit and look at my spices and figure out what do I want. Let's see, there's... It's curry. Curry pot pie sounds pretty good, but I don't think that's what I want to go for right now. Um, uh, definitely savory. What's this? Is this time? That's time. Definitely some time, some savory. Um, I think I've got some sage. Also, there's a ton of seasoning, the major caraway, nutmeg, oh, allspice. Yeah, my sage is over here then. my sage. Get everything all nice and melted down. Already this is smelling fantastic. As you want your house to smell good, saute garlic and onions. Boom, you're there. Your house now smells good and like you know what you're doing. Speaking of garlic. Have I run out of 
of garlic paste. I seem to have run out of garlic paste. This is fine. Since I don't have fresh garlic, I'm just going to shake a little bit of this powdered garlic in there just for the good old flavor. Oh my, yes. I really want to get a GoPro one of these days. Because hmm. the steam is effectively blocking out anything I'm doing in the pan. So it's kind of hard to see it. Come on. Sage. A little bit of white pepper. The savory. And the freshest of times, except it's not fresh, it's dry. But wanna pretend. Could you pull down my all-purpose flour for me? Yes. Thank you. Right there, please. I don't think I'm going to add any salt until the end because the turkey itself was pretty salty and so is margarine. So I will make a judgment call towards the end of this. So what we're doing right here is called a roux. It's when you melt a fat and a starch like all-purpose flour together. And when we put water on top of this, or milk or whatever, it's going to make a really thick and delicious sauce. So I'm gonna pull that off the heat for a second while I get my water together. How much water does it want? Wants well, like two thirds cup of milk and a third cup of broth. I'm gonna kill the heat for a second. What happened? My bouillon, there it is. Alrighty. So let's see in total two thirds cup of milk. So one three cups first. And three. I'm losing my mind. It's fine. Just for the broth and then the one to two thirds. Fuck, I'm just gonna round it up. You can always add more liquid later. And as always, because I particularly like the flavor and I think it'll be complimentary to turkey, because it also has a sort of rich and gamey flavor, I'm going to be using goat milk. He is my favorite. You, of course, can use whatever milk you desire. Uh, if you prefer to use a nut-based milk, may I suggest you do not use vanilla soy milk. Uh, probably not that great. For something as savory as a turkey pot pie. And for the broth, I'm using some better than bullion turkey paste and then dissolving it in some water. So this is what I have right now. I'm just trying to combine my milk powders, my water, and the paste all together to make 
something at least somewhat cohesive. And blended, homogeneous, all that good shit. fully blended yet, but I figured it can do more of that just straight in the pot. Okay. Back on with the heat. a little lumpy right now, but that's mostly because of the milk powder. Uh, as this heats up, that lumpiness should dissolve. The only lumps I want to see are uh, onions and other vegetables. 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 Jesus Christ, I am making a mess today. Okay. And low Freya, she knows something good is happening in here. She might get a little bit of it. Okay. I think I'm gonna go in search of a whisk. This will also help to scrape up all the good little bits that were starting to bake to the bottom a little bit. That's where all the roasted flavor is right now, and we want that. gonna let that just go for a minute while it gets up to heat because it won't start to thicken up until uh, the flour starts getting cooked a little bit and it'll puff up as it soaks up the liquid and stuff. Yeah it's already starting to thicken up a little bit. How marvelously delicious. Now note that, the, so the original recipe called for frozen vegetables. Honestly, I think you could use canned or even fresh if you wanted to. I think Mrs. Crocker just wanted to list something easy. Lower the heat a little bit. And we're going to continue whisking. All right. I think we're going to start adding in our vegetables. Oh, I missed an onion. That's fine. Can we get our peas? And then I'm just going to take as much turkey as I want and shred it into little bits, dump it directly in there. You know what? Hold on a second. Haha. -ha. So these are my uh, kitchen scissors. They are meant for cutting meat and stuff, so this is just perfect. I really like this because some days I just don't have the energy to cut shit up into tiny little pieces. Uh, 
I do have the energy for it today, but I'm but I'm also lazy right now. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. If I'm not tired, I'm lazy. I, I'm aware of these flaws, so I try to try to work with them. So they want about, what is it, three cups of turkey? I have a lot of turkey here. Maybe I want a really meaty pot pie, so I'm just going to put however much I want in there until I'm happy. Because, good lord, there's a lot of turkey. I'm actually going to have to probably freeze some of this so it doesn't go bad. second give this a little stir in there oh this is looking really good so far so I'm quite pleased with this I'm gonna put that down to low for right now so it continues to cook a little bit but without burning because oh boy I got a lot of turkey to go through This is the redemption turkey that I had made. Uh, was this Christmas Eve? Yeah, I made this Christmas Eve. Um, so basically the same recipe I had from Thanksgiving, but this time I had brined it for slightly less time. And then I put this huge tent of aluminum foil over the top of it so it wouldn't burn this time because it, it was as much as I'm loath to admit it it was slightly burned this time or the uh, for Thanksgiving but this time it turned out juicy and delicious and I was so freaking happy it truly was my redemption arc for roasting turkey probably the I dare say one of the best turkeys I've ever made so I'll probably come up with an actual cohesive recipe for it at some point because who knows how long I'll actually remember what I did so I'll write up a card so future me knows how to replicate these results Look at that big chunk of turkey. So I like having a lot of filling in my uh, pot pies because like when I have a slice of pot pie, I basically want it to be a whole meal. And just some of these recipes are just like really just that little filling. Okay, I guess if that's what you want. But me, I like having just a whole meal in a single slice so I end up going a little overboard on my vegetables and my meats and stuff because I want it to be really filling. Also I just happen to have a fuck ton of meat right now so why not. All right I'm gonna give that a pause again and stir it in and you know what I think we have finally reached a desired thickness. So I'm going to wash my hands again, grab a spoon, and give this a little taste test, see if it needs salt, because that now is the time to adjust flavor, because after this, once you put it in the pie crust, that's it, until, you know, it's all done. So now is the time you want to make adjustments before you commit. Some potato, I think a little bit of turkey, and maybe a tiny bit of onion. Mm. 
Possibly a little salt here. Well, that's the whole point of this, is I didn't want to add salt until the very end anyways, because who knows? Yep. But yeah, you're right. (laughs) Otherwise, the flavor, I think, is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Just needs a little bit of salt. Bring it all together. All right. A second tasty test. Hmm. Shane? Come back. A little bit more salt or just right? I think a little more. A little more. Yeah. Close. I'm using the salt we got from the burrito place. (laughs) I mean, it was right there. Yeah, no, that's great. So one of our favorite local burrito joints, uh, we were hanging out in their outdoor seating area uh, one day, and we had ordered some of their really, really good potatoes. Unfortunately, they're not salty enough for me, and that's... That's how you want to do it. You don't want to oversalt your potatoes at any place. Um, so I was like, hey, do you guys have salt packets? And the guy kind of like froze for a moment, went back with the little uh, little Tupperware cup things, went to the chef, was like, hey, can you just put some salt in this for me? And, and it, was just, it was just really nice of them. It was really nice of them. Mm. That is it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. That is really good. Okay, so I'm going to set that on my counter behind me. Let that cool because you don't want to put piping hot filling into your pie crust. You want to make sure that it's cooled down quite a bit. All right. I am going to clear up a bit before I move on to phase two, which is pie dough. And pie dough is actually pretty simple. There's not much to it. There's only so many ingredients. And if you really want to jazz it up, you could put in dried herbs and stuff. And that's what I particularly like to do. For this one, I'm going to be adding some of that dried thyme. So we have a nice buttery, herby crust. And the other trick for pie dough is you want your butter super friggin' cold. So I have mine sitting in the freezer right now. And by the time I am ready for it, I'm having some technical issues. AKA, my fridge needed a quick tetracycline. And one. In the sink. Mm -hmm. In the sink. This one back here. This goes over here. Sink. All right, gonna give it a quick wipe down. And then we're gonna move on to pie crust. And I think I'm going to show off how to do it by hand because I know not everyone has a stand mixer. And seeing how something is done by hand, 
I'm hoping can be helpful. Pretty excited. I'm hoping I have the money soon enough to buy new frying pans because the ones we have don't really work great with this particular kind of stove. I've been used to have a, I'm used to having um stoves that have the, the, the coiled heating elements. And not this flat glass top. So I'm going to do this over here and not on the stove because as demonstrated, I never turned it off. I'm an idiot. Okay, now it's actually off. Freya, don't eat the fuzzies. Freya, don't eat the fuzzies. You will. Yes, we've yawned. Oh, so sleepy. After our walk today. All right, so I'm going to get everything else ready for the pie dough because I don't want to put in the butter until absolutely everything else is together. Sippy break. Mm. Mm. Speaking of sippy break, another sippy break. So this is actually a protein shake. That over there is my alcohol. Okay, flour. Flour time. It's scout time. Oh yeah, but that protein shake is super good. My favorite brand, Premier uh, Protein, came out with another flavor recently, and it was cinnamon roll flavor, and it is so flipping good, you guys. Oh my god, it's so tasty. I lost my measuring cup. There it is. Okay. Now we want. 10 ounces of all-purpose flour. Now, the amount I'm making here should be enough for two. It should be. We'll find out. And you want two because one's going on the top and one's going on the bottom. So you need enough for two shells, essentially. That's two ounces. That's almost five ounces. One ten. For some reason, I mistook butter for all-purpose flour, but I needed seven ounces at first. Okay. And bucket. And there we go. Ten ounces. Perfect. Beautiful. And we're going to keep the all-purpose flour out because we'll need, to, we'll need it to dust the counters. Um, and I'm going to put my pan, my pie pan. This is actually some stoneware that I got a long time ago. And this makes, honestly, the best pie crusts I've ever had. You can, of course, use disposable aluminum foil. I typically like to. Um, sorry, I had a burp there. It made me sound weird. Um... That because I don't feel like having to deal with cleaning the pans more often than not. Um, but I really wanted a nice crispy crust this time. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my really cold rock hard butter and I'm going to slice it into, uh, I'm just going to slice it up a little bit so it's easier to cut into the flour using my pastry cutter here. Now, another way you can go about this is using um, two knives to drag the butter into the flour, but I would like to use my pastry cutter. It makes my job easier. So, oh yeah, that's nice and as a firm butter. Okay, this will make a really good pie crust and I'm using unsalted butter. As stated in previous rants, if you get salted butter, 
it's really hard to guarantee how much salt is in each batch that they make. And you could easily end up over salting whatever it is you're making. So for cooking, unsalted butter is where I go. Now each of these sticks is about four ounces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut up both sticks. Um, I doubt this recipe will be changed drastically if I add an extra ounce of butter. And I'm just gonna cut that little bit right there in half. All right. So I'm just going to get a plastic bowl, put the sliced butter in the bowl, and then put it back in the freezer so it stays nice and chilly. Because I cannot emphasize enough how much you need your butter to be as cold as fucking possible. All right, next stick. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and start preheating my oven because that should take a while to get up to the temperature I need it to. Um, we should open some of our windows. It's gonna get really toasty in here. Yeah, I've already got the uh, bedroom windows open. Yep, thank you. I probably should have gotten a larger knife for this. That seems to be the theme for this evening is, Mimi, that knife isn't big enough for what you're trying to do here. This is still working, it's just I'm making it unnecessarily difficult for myself by doing it this way. I was like, oh, a little stick of butter, I don't need a big knife. Yes, Mimi, you always need big, big knife all time, do it. Ha <laughs> uh, you're funny. Telling the dog not to boof. She, oh, she will boof. She will. How dare someone else enjoy this home and apartment complex? Alright, washing hands so they're not buttery. Alright. Okay. We take the time. We shake a little into our hands. We crush it. Put it in the flour. Is I am super fond of adding herbs and spices and stuff to my savory pie crusts. And even for my, my sweet pie crusts, like for, for let's say like lemon meringue pie or whatever, I still like adding a little extra something to the pie crust, like lemon zest or maybe even lavender, just something to give it that extra mwah, deliciousness. Salt. I need salt. I need one teaspoon of salt. This is a half teaspoon measuring spoon, so I'm just gonna look. Okay. Half a teaspoon. Well, I just measure it twice. <laughs> Two half discs. Two half discs. Okay. No, that's too many discs. <laughs> and then let's see, I want to get a nice wooden spoon for mixing it all together once I've introduced my liquid. But first, to just give this all, this all stir. Get the salt and the thyme. Nice somewhat distributed. Okay, I'm going to move this over here so I have some room. Time goes back. I said it goes motherfucker. Okay. I just want to put my jar back. And everyone is making it difficult. Okay. I did it. I think that's all the seasoning I want for this pie crust. 
I want to keep it nice and simple since really the main star is going to be that bomb ass filling. Alright, so now is the time to start cutting in the butter. So for a flakier crust, you want the like overall uh, size pieces of butter, you want them to be more motherfucker, like pea size to so like like that big, maybe. Um, and the finer you chop the butter, the less flaky it'll be. And I would like a flaky crust. So we are going to have some fairly sizable chunks after I've done this. Shane, I can't uh, look at the screen right now, but can you tell me if they're getting a good view of this? Um, honestly, the brightness is kind of... Oh. You see, this is really why I want that damn GoPro. Yeah. Because it's, it's just all whiteness. Well, if you want to help me by doing the uh, the travel cam, that would probably pick it up. Yeah. Just so they get an idea of how this is supposed to look like. Because, yeah, I picked a great fucking bowl for this, just white on white on white. <laughs> Wasn't really thinking about it. I was just like, oh, this clean bowl on top of this other stack of clean bowls. Let's see if that software is... Hey, it is still going. Maybe. It did for a moment. Okay. So you just take your pastry cutter and you just kind of rock it back and forth over the chunks. Just scrape them down, mix them back in. These pieces are a little large right now, so I'm just going to continue doing this until the average size is about pea size. This is just a bit too much time being. See all those little lumps, that's all the butter that I've been cutting in here. You must trust that it is still going. I mean, as usual, it's been in dumps and spurts. It's trying, okay? It's trying! Well, maybe some stimulus money can go to a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. They're kind of expensive. They are. Alright, I want to say we are just about there. There are some pieces that are a little larger and some that are a little smaller, and this is okay. So from here, we want to get fridge water. Fridge water is the kind of water we want. It's nice and cold and crisp. And it wants three ounces of it. So I'm just going to pour a bunch into this bowl I was using for the butter. Grab my damn kitchen scale again. Okay. And then I'm going to add it. That's one ounce. Two ounce. I'm going to stop at two and a half ounces, mix it in, and then I could always add more water. And then you just start going in with a spoon. I would advise, go, I would not advise, do not do it, going in with your hands because your hands will melt the butter. And we don't want that. So we want to do the best we can with this spoon. Of course, we are going to have to, you know, pick it up with our hands at some point to roll it out and everything. But until that point, you want to do 
all that you can without touching it. We want to keep the integrity of our nice and cold butter. to go in with my hands here in a second to kind of mush it all together. So I'm going to take a second to line this counter with some thin wrap. So I have an easier cleanup. I really just squish everything as far back as I can get it. wrap was not wrong at this point. I had forgotten where the teeth were. I can really get a few more inches of space if I just... Yep, there we go. That ought to do it. Just let me know I reached my step count for the day. And then I'm going to put on my food prep gloves because I don't like having to pick out flour and butter for my fingernails later. These are my nitrile food safe gloves that I got from Target. You can get them in the cleaning supply section. I'm just going to get this nice and spread around. Fuck. So yeah, if you can like kind of put it into a ball like that and it stays together, that is the right consistency that you want for your pie dough. Mm. This is still really dry though, so I think I'm going to put in a little bit more water. Because if you put in too much water, um, when it evaporates, it will shrink the pie crust. And you don't want your pie crust to shrink. You want it to Stay at about where you roll it out and put it in the pan. And this is really nice. Like, I can feel how cold my crust is. This is exactly what we want. Nice, cold crust. 
And if you can see your, your come back here. If you can see lumps of butter, that's great. Those are going to be little pockets of flaky goodness. And motherfuckers are setting off fireworks. It's over, people. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about Freya barking. No, that's fine. Okay. So I've turned out my pie crust here. I'm gonna kind of make it a little circular like that. And you don't want to fold over your pie crust too much because that'll make it really tough. And we want a tender, flaky, delicious pie crust. And what I'm going to do is split it in half. One half, of course, is going to be for the top of my crust. And then this other one will be for the bottom. So I'm kind of brought it back to a somewhat circular shape. Now these don't have to be perfect. But you do want it somewhat circular so it's easier to roll out. And you just start gently coaxing it into a large circle, big enough to fill your vessel. And every once in a while, you want to lift it up and turn it. Maybe dust it with a little bit more flour so your rolling pin doesn't stick. And then you just continue to slowly and carefully roll it out. Now, growing up, my mom had this wonderful marble rolling pin that she could chill in the fridge or the freezer before rolling out her pie crusts. And... I can't remember if I still have it, but I do remember that the handles on it broke. The, the handles weren't marble. It was a, um, a metal rod that went through the center of this marble tube, and it had wooden handles, and one of the wooden handles had broken off completely. Um, and I want to get it fixed. I just don't know who exactly I would go to to fix a marble pulling pin. So I don't know if anyone here has seen or even listened to the musical uh, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, but every time I make a meat pie like this, I can't help but think of Mrs. Lovett, and I constantly just, that song about her pies is just completely on loop in my damn brain. It's one of those things that just lives rent-free in me. All right, and then we're going to gently lift and rotate again. Be careful not to tear your pie. Repairing a tear in pie dough is kind of difficult. So we're just going to replow our surface and give this a little bit of a quarter turn or so. And then we continue on our merry way. Honestly, that one should have gone into the freezer or the fridge to stay nice and cold. But I forgot. So we are just going to try and do our best. to stop it there, find where the fuck I put my, I put it in the freezer to get cold, um, my stone pie pan, 
And yeah, that looks like it'll fit quite nicely. So once again, gently and carefully, lift your dough. And then kind of just gently shift it around. You lift your, you, you don't want to just push down on the, your dough here because it will rip. So you want to lift the edges and let them kind of sink into the pan on their own. You can, of course, help them out a little bit by pushing down as you go. All right, ain't that a beauty? For now, I'm going to leave my pie crust edges hanging like this. Um, I don't want to trim them or anything until after I've got my filling in there and my pie crust on top. I have run out of freezer room. I can't put, okay, so we're just gonna put this in the fridge then. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll fit nicely right there. All right, pie crust part two. And then after I get this nice and rolled out, I can start scooping and transferring our filling, which should be cool enough at this point. It should be room temperature, maybe a little bit warm, but that'll be fine. And then we'll immediately throw this whole fucker into the oven. Alrighty. Let's do this. So excited for pie crust. So excited for pot pie. I haven't made pie crust in forever, it feels like. Yeah, for a while. Well, like normally I'd make it a couple times a year because uh, people at your work mm, is yeah. I would um I was a resident baker anytime anyone had a birthday for that month's employee game night, I would come bearing the dessert of choice of whomever's birth month it was. And some people would request pies for me. So I would at least like once or twice a year someone would want a pie, if not more. A couple of people wanted cheesecakes. Some people wanted standard cakes with the good old buttercreams. Now, for the amount of pressure you want on this, you want it firm, of course, just like a little firm, but you don't want to, like, put your weight into it, essentially. You don't, you, you shouldn't need to. And if you do, you will indent your pie dough, and it'll be a fucking mess. I haven't rotated this in a minute, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to dust the top, rub it around a little bit, make sure. So the reason why you want to dust the top is as the butter gets up to room temperature, it gets sticky, and it'll stick to the rolling pin and it'll rip. And we just want to avoid ripping. So we give that a good quarter turn, roll around in the flour we have there, and we continue. And once again, these don't need to be perfect circles. They just need to be big enough to get over your mound of filling and fill your pie vessel. Because I can't, I don't feel comfortable saying tin, because what if it's not a tin? What if it's like mine and it's stone? Your pie stone? There's vessel. Your pie vessel just seems to be a more universally sound choice. This one's rolling out a little bit better, I want to say, probably because it's warmed up a little bit. So this is probably the perfect temperature. It's not too warm, not too cold. All righty, I'm going to pull out our delicious crust from the fridge that is kept nice and chilly. I'm going to pull out the oven mitt to put on the glass top here so I don't scuff it up even further. 
And then, yeah, there's no steam coming off of this that I can see. It's a little warm, but once again, I'm going to try to get this straight into the oven. I probably actually want to do this instead. There we go. So it'll be easier to pull in and out of the oven. Alrighty. The filling. Ooh. I'm going to fold these edges back over this way. All right. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. And then just scoop it in. And since all of the vegetables in here are as cooked down as they're going to be, um, I don't think like with apple pie, when you use like fresh apples and stuff, this filling shouldn't deflate. So I feel perfectly content and happy to have a huge mound of filling here. Ah, oh, yes, look at that delicious, savory mound of goodness. All right. And now I'm going to move this as close to my pie crust as I can so it doesn't have that long to travel. My rolling pin over here. And then I'm just going to gently coax it off the surface. And then sort of like so. Just kind of suggest it move one way or another. Now, typically I would do an egg wash or something, but I used all of my eggs to make my New Year's cake. So this is what we got. <laughs> All right, I'm going to rinse off the scissors I was using earlier. For cutting the meat. And first I'm just going to find the edge of my pan and gently press my fingers down to begin crimping my pie dough. And I can kind of see where I've left my indentations. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to just start trimming my pie crust. And I want a little bit of overhang, just a little bit. And if you want, like if you have like a lot of pie like dough left over, you can actually like make like really cute and like fun shapes and stuff and decorate the top of your pie with them. If you want. If the if I know a pie crust is going to be particularly good, I'll just bake it on like a separate sheet. And um I'll just have these really tasty little um like crackers, I guess is the best way to put them. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking my two fingers like this and my thumb like this, and these two fingers are going underneath the crust, and then my thumb is going in between them and pressing down, and that's how you get a little ruffled pie edge like this. So I don't know how well that's showing up right now, but it is the best way I can explain it. And I'm covering my bases here because, uh, so I, I left a little bit more pie dough on there than normal because I don't know how much this is going to shrink. I hope it won't, but I would like to be planned just in case. So I have a little extra dough on here that I normally would. <laughs> normally I like trimming it like right up to the, 
right up to the edge of my tin. All right. I'm gonna set this aside for right now. I will get out a baking sheet and line it with some parchment paper in a minute. Put that on there. For now, this is ready to go in our oven. And this is gonna be in there for, what did I write on my recipe card? 35 minutes. Um, another important thing is we are want to, we're gonna wanna cut like little slits in the top here. And this is going to allow our pie to vent. Um, so the so the steam has somewhere to go. So I'm just gonna do basic little indents down there. And then I'm going to do a little crissy crossy here. All right. My gloves, my mitts. I think my filling was a little more warm than I intended. I can see my dough is melting a little. So into the oven now. Okay. Okay, Google. Start a timer for 35 minutes. Third timer for 35 minutes. And we're starting now. Thank you. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my random pie pieces in my convection oven, which is a little, like it's basically an extra large toaster oven uh, that I have off to the side over here. I'm going to replace the foil. Oh, Frey, it don't help. And then I'm gonna put on some parchment paper. So a convection oven uses hot air that it blows around to cook. I'm not even going to worry about making these cute or pretty or whatever. I'm just going to put them on here and then let them bake in the oven, my convection oven, basically giant toaster. And then we'll have these delicious little, little pie dough crackers. Oh, you never switched your recipe card on the screen. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. They can at least look at it for the remaining time. I don't want the turkey pot pie anymore. I want the pie crust. There it goes. All right. I'm gonna get this into my convection oven over here. Let's see, 425. So about here-ish maybe. We'll see what it's like at 20 minutes. Freya, you really are just in the most god-awful spot laying right at the corner that I want to cut across, but you're making me go the long way around. All right. So now that all that's left to do is wait. So as usual, I'm going to clean up my workspace here, but then I will just sit down and chat with you guys about anything and everything. I love that I tried to put down cling wrap to make cleanup easier, and yet somehow it is still a fucking mess. How 
I wish to be a soft and adorable cottagecore baker, but I am just way too fucking spazzy and just a messy person to fucking pull it off. No, no cottagecore. Just cottagecore goblin. I'm a, god in, I'm a goblin that likes cob, cabbage core. Can't talk anymore. Cabbage core. Or it's cabbage core. Goblin cottage core. Goblin core. Because, like, I, I like soft and cute things, but I'm not a soft and cute person, I feel like. I'm just... just fucking flower everywhere. Oh my lord. He got on the floor. I like flowers and shiny rocks and unicorns, but also bones and swords and... I can't seem to fucking pick an aesthetic. Okay. Hive trust looking good. Ugh. The contrast pants thing are really cool down on the, the wings. The wings. Nice. <laughs> What are all my various timers at? Okay. Well, it looks like by the time my is ready to come out of the oven, I need to redose. Is how that's turning out. Okay. I gotta go off screen for a minute. BRB. Sure. I wish to see them. Yeah. 
Thank you. I'm tired. <sighs> so yeah, that's how you make a turkey pot pie. Now it's just waiting. Arguably the hardest part of cooking and baking. The waiting. Wish you just sent us a message on that. Oh, the Discord? Group, group Discord, area. Yeah. The, like, group text. Uh-huh. Just saying, hey, guys. Tell my nephew I say hi back, but I'm too busy streaming, so I can't do it. <sighs> Having my energy drink finally. <laughs> I'm gonna be wired. Oh. But yeah, pie crust, while it can be difficult, for the most part, like, I, I feel like I've gotten used to it, maybe, so it feels kind of easy to me now, but I could under, like, I am, <laughs> I used to really suck at it. Um, maybe it's been too long, because I just took a look at the pie crust in the oven, and, uh, haha, <laughs> hopes are not high. Fucking oops. But it'll still be delicious, if nothing else. And I think that's kind of what I want to go for with Kitchen Cobalts is like, you can make absolutely delicious food. And I feel like, like, yeah, presentation does matter, but I feel like it shouldn't be the end all be all. Like if your product looks like absolute fucking garbage, if it tastes good and you like it and other people like it, but mostly you, you are the most important factor in this when you're making something. Do you like it? If the answer is yes, then that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Could look like absolute dog shit, but if it tastes S tier, who the fuck else cares? Tell them mind the damn business. It's your dog shit, and it tastes delicious. There we go. What are you doing? Uh, finish painting the loss. Nice. I think for next week's stream, I'm gonna make cookies again, but with a twinst this time. Um, one of um, Shane's relatives is sending us these really nice kitchen towels that I like a lot that that she's made in the past for us. What she does is she uh, knits or crochets. Um, an attachment for the towels with a button on it so you can loop it around your stove handle. And um, I thought this was really sweet of her, so I wanted to make her cookies and stuff, but she has a lot of uh, dietary restrictions now for the diet that she's on. So an attempt will be made. So what I'm going to do are make uh, these egg white and almond flour cookies. So basically like macarons, but instead of uh, sugar, I'm gonna be using the sugar substitute swerve. So they'll be like a little minty, which I hope she doesn't mind. Um, so I'm gonna be making her those and then basic chocolate chips uh, cookies, which I'll be doing off stream because you, I've already done a chocolate chip cookie stream. Um, so yeah, we'll see how these uh, diet friendly cookies go. <laughs> Hello, Lucian. <laughs> How have you been, buddy? I heard that you you hurt your arm a bit. We were real worried down here, and we hope you're doing okay. And I got your Steam present. Thank you so much. I look forward to playing it in some downtime. Oh, this is... Kind of the part of the stream where I start winding down once I know my things are in the oven 
and that my time here is slowly coming to an end. So basically all the energy that I had built up through the whole stream just kind of whoosh, goes out of me. And I get real tired because my, my, my brain is like, no, we're done now. <laughs> we're done cooking. It's in the oven. It's just waiting now. You don't need to be hyper anymore. You don't need to be excited. It's already here. I'm hoping that energy gives me a little bit of a pick-me-up. Uh. Oh, sleepy baby. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. You come right. right come here. What's this? What's this? I'm holding nothing, but what's this? Come here. Uh, come here. Oh. Oh, Freya, thank you. Come here. Oh, there we go, there's a baby. Oh, yes. We had a very good walk today. We sniffed everything. We sniffed everything. Had a grand old time. And now she's super sleepy and stressed out because people are still setting off fucking fireworks. In the rain. Oh, everything smells so good. I can't wait to have pot pie. Because I love a really good pot pie. Yes, the best poppers. No, I shouldn't, because there are many good poppers. Is Otis is also a good popper. And Mocha's a good popper. There are just too many good poppers. This Freya like standing on the kitchen mat <laughs> we have back here because it's got like memory foam or something in it and it's supposed to like help with your joints and stuff. So we have this over here and she likes standing on it in the kitchen whenever she's begging. Or as grandma likes to call it, waiting patiently. This she does not wait patiently. No, sugar, 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 chunky girl. Ah, sugar, chunky girl. But yeah, she's she's very spoiled these days. She gets uh, vegetables or fruits with pretty much every meal. I caught Grandma sneaking her peanut butter covered covered apple chunks into her kibble. <laughs> I, determination. That's how people are setting them off in the rain. Fucking determination. They are filled with a sense of determination. I just I feel like they should we are in city limits you're not supposed to be setting off fucking fireworks here mangy uh you stress my baby out I only have so many Scooby snacks I can give her did you give her any speaking of not tonight we should probably give her some they're probably gonna keep this fuckery up all night I mean, I only heard it like once and haven't heard it since. I, yeah, I hope they don't set off anymore. That was very stressful. Mm -hmm. I need to do your nails. You yeah. got you got goblin grinchy feet. Yes. Like it didn't sound like full on fireworks either. It was just like little Oh yeah, they they were like like just like a lot of consecutive pop 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 pops. Um like firecrackers, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, they must have been firecrackers. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> I desire pie. Pie, pie. And then I can have my delicious tiramisu that I made the other night for dessert. My, my, my twimst on tiramisu had a, a delicious sponge cake with um, a plum syrup with rum that I had soaked into the spongy bits. And then I made a strawberry uh, whipped cream to put in between the layers. And then these little cute little little large chocolate sprinkle, like gold covered, not gold gold, but gold colored covered chocolate sprinkles. So looking very festive for New Year's and whatnot. And it was so delicious. So delicious. I kind of want to have a slice now, but I want to have, excuse me, burp. I want to have another one. I want to have fucking <laughs> pot pie first. Yes, mm, pie. So, so, of course, all this pie talk is reminding me of an ancient 
internet meme of Weeble and Bob from Weeble stuff. Low Bob, low. Mm, pie. And, and how Flash finally fucking died. Like, they. An end of an era. There's so many memes and videos back in the day were created using Flash, and now it's an end of an era. It's how we got. Uh, ultimate showdown and badger 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 and and basically my entire childhood <laughs> and they and they finally discontinued it as it, it was just kind of like overwhelming to think about just how much of my childhood was flash it, like uh supported um so yeah, the Badger Badger Ultimate Showdown, the, the the fucking peanut butter jelly time, the duck song, and it just made me feel like a fucking relic. <laughs> Even though I'm only 30, I'm not supposed to be a relic yet. So yeah, it's just, and, and Dr. Tran, oh my god, Dr. Tran, I remember exactly where I was when I first watched Dr. Tran. I was in computer class in high school. And one of my, my friends who was sitting next to me was like, hey, have, have you ever seen this? And we were, of course, supposed to be doing work. But we weren't. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep this straight face as tears from, like, holding in my laughter so hard, streaming down my face as I'm watching the, the, the first Dr. Tran video. And just, just, like, just choking back tears. And the teacher just kind of, like... She probably knew we were fucking around, but we had decent grades in the class, so she didn't, like, say anything, I guess. But just kind of, like, eyeballing us, knew, like, knowing we were fucking around when we weren't supposed to be. And <laughs> just thinking we were so slick for watching videos during class. We weren't. They know. Teachers know. And just, just hyperventilating tears down the face... Watching Dr. Tran. <laughs> My convection oven timer just didn't, so I'm gonna go check on that. Oh, yes, those look lovely and brown. Shane, would you like some uh, pie crust crackers? I'm gonna get something that holds that a bit better than the tongs. The answer is yes. <laughs> Good. Okay, these are, maybe if I bring them up a bit, yeah. So these were just the scraps uh, from my pot pie from when I uh, trimmed the, the crust. So these are, these are all the little scrappy boys. Oh, yes, yeah, nice crunch when I break them in half. They are too hot to hold with my damn hands right now. I'm... I am the impatient and the dumb. I should have known better. My hands are freezing right now. So, of course, the heat from the fucking pie crust didn't set in until I held it for a couple of seconds. But I want... I want the scraps now. I desire the scraps. And I put uh, dried thyme into the pie crust for an extra little bit of flavor. Mm. Oh my god, yes. It's flaky, buttery, a little bit of salt because I added some, and a nice just herby crust. So these are just really great, like, crackers. That's another thing you could do with pie crust. Like, if you just want, like, crackers, I guess, is just roll this out, cut out shapes, boom, crackers. You could probably even put, like, cheese shreds in it. Okay. Cheesy crackers. Like, cheese... I think that's actually how cheese straws are made. It's kind of like pie dough, but then they add shredded cheese to it. I should make cheese straws. Yes. Not right now. No. But a future stream, I should make cheese straws. They're so good. All right, I'm coming to you with some pie crust. Here. 
Isn't that so freaking good? Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, I'd be content just eating this. It's sending all the good neurons to my brain, being like, yes, fat, good, delicious, so tasty. Must, must flood brain with good chemicals. Nom, nom. I don't know if I can show it on the camera or not, but in person you can actually see the layers of um, you can see the layers from where the butter was sitting in here. And then, of course, it dissolved and evaporated, so you have these little flaky pockets within the pie crust now. Yeah, it's so freaking good. Mm-mm-mm. I'm just going to have pie crust for dinner. Mm-mm. Like, that's a meal, right? Pie crust is a meal? Yeah. You're gonna chuck on the big boy. Uh, might have to leave it in there for longer, at least turn on the broiler if nothing else. It's a very pale looking pie right now and I think we've got nine more minutes left on it Jane would you like a stick of pie crust yeah isn't that so freaking good it really is. like I dare say Better than a Ritz cracker. <laughs> no one's going to stop me. You think Shane can stop me from having pie crust for dinner? No, he, he, he's most likely to join me. Mm. Well, thankfully, there's not that much pie crust scraps to be had, so... I just really want cheese straws now. Same. Since I talked about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should do like a um like a high tea special. Mm. Like make a bunch of like little snacks that you might have with like a tea service. It's like the tea like the cheese straws, maybe some scones. Um Little, little tea sandwiches and shit. Ray, you can't have this. I know you're a good girl. But you can't have this. Mmm... You can close that song if it's getting too cold. But we've got the With the oven going, you think you're. So. I just felt the strap on all, all on my feet and I startled me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I got quite free with it. It's not terrible. What? Right? What? The level. Oh, I'm not even looking for that now. I'm looking for where's the food. It's still in the oven. I've got these pie straps, though, that I cooked up. I added a little bit of dried pine to it. So good. It's basically like a better version of a Ritz cracker to me. <laughs> really, really good. Well, gee, I'm just going to have to verify that for you. <laughs> if you want, you're more than welcome to. Like, if you want to verify it now would probably be a good time, because I've been like mindlessly snacking on it because it's just that damn good to me. Are you talking about the, the turkey pot pie or are you talking about just pie scraps? Oh, that, I'm going to have a big thing of turkey pot pie. Let me have one of those. 
Thank you. Yep. Oh, it's still warm. Yeah, no, it came right out of the convection oven. Oh my god. Isn't that so good? Oh, that's wonderful. I made a damn good pie crust. I was so pleased with myself. You always do. <laughs> I don't know about always, but... Mm. God, that's good. Right, like a better, like a better rich cracker. Hmm. So how long until the actual meal is ready? Um, about you know six minutes, uh, God willing. Six. Oh yes. Yeah, like um. Of course, if the pie crust looks underdone, I'm gonna probably throw it underneath the broiler for a minute. Is uh the the pie filling wasn't as cool as I initially thought because after I put in the pie filling, put the pie crust on top, poked it with holes, it was already starting to, the butter was already starting to melt. Yeah. Because it had been sitting out the entire time I was rolling out my pie dough and everything, so I thought it had gotten quite cool enough, but it was still just, just warm enough. So as soon as I saw the butter was starting to melt in the pie dough, I immediately just threw it in the fucking oven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's good. Do you have any of that, Shane? Yes. Of course. It, it just, as I'm not that terrible, of course I'm going to share this delicious product. <laughs> no, no, no. no, you get the smell. <laughs> oh, that's good. You want one more piece, sir? Oh, well, darn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Jane. Since I've been standing up there snacking, you, you only get what I bring you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, that's good. Truly really pleased with how well it turned out. Mm. Here, do you want to lick my fingers, Freya? <laughs> because I couldn't, in the conscious, give you a full piece, but you can, you can lift the grease off my fingers into crumbs. Mm -hmm. And oh my god, the filling turned out so tasty. Because of course I wanted to taste the filling before I put it in the pie, because once it's in the pie, like, that's it. And what, how much turkey is left over? Oh god, so much. And I put, and I, like, there was a mound of filling by the time I got in the pie crust, so like, I made as much as I could, like, within reason. So yeah, no, we'll need to take some time tomorrow to uh, break it down and, and freeze it into bags and stuff. But like, the recipe called for like three cups. I'm pretty sure I added way more than three cups of turkey. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then of course I used up all the uh, leftover uh, vegetables that were in that bowl. Because I, I noticed there weren't any apples left, so I was just like, okay, all that can go in. Yep, yep, I did it on purpose. And uh, I added a can of peas as well. For color. For color. All right, that was the timer for the pot pie. So it is now time for me to take a peek and suss it out. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. <sighs> I still feel like it's a little light. Like, I would like it a little more golden. You can make it, like, golden on the top. Yeah. Because, like, the, the, the filling, of course, is 100% cooked all the way through. So, really, this is just for you the can, crust. You can't crisp it. Yeah, so I'm going to throw in my broiler. I'll put it on low. And so, broiler is basically the, the, the heating elements in the uh, the top of your stove as opposed to the bottom. They'll get really bright and really hot, and they will uh, brown anything that sits under them. So I'm just going to get down on the floor and keep an eye on it because they work fast. And if you're not keeping an eye on it, all of a sudden, whatever you're trying to broil is now fucking burnt. And it goes from golden to black in like three seconds. Flat. Yeah, so, which is why I have it on low because it was already a little golden to begin with. I just want to push that envelope a little. And yeah, you can definitely tell that the, the butter started to melt a little bit because the uh, the crust edges are a little droopy. But other than that, it looks pretty damn good. Oh, and I did use um, margarine instead of butter with the, in, in the filling since the crust was already going to be so buttery. So there's that.
Now let's see, do I want some tea? Do I want alcohol with this? What do I want? I feel like, like a, a good crisp cold beverage would go really nicely with this. I don't know if I have anything. Oh no, no, I do. I've got my, my peach and honeysuckle wine. So I'll probably have a little bit of that. I'll have a beer with mine. Of course you will. I have a real good beer pairing. Oh, that's something that might be fun to experiment with in the future. Um, instead of using water to bind uh, your butter and flour together, using other liquids like beer and stuff, sure. having a beer pie crust, that might be fun. All right, are we finally getting some more? Ooh, yeah, we are. We getting there. I'm just going to rotate it a little bit. Yeah, I kind of wish I had at least one egg to do an egg wash on top, but other than that, and there's my medication timer, but you know what? We're towards the end anyways, so I think I'm just going to not do it. Because I feel okay right now. And once again, we are so close to being done here. And having nice... Hot pot pie on this dreary day. All right, I'm going to call it now. Like, it really does not need to be in there for that long. And would you look at this? Perfectly golden. Delicious looking, easy breezy, beautiful pot pie. I'm gonna get a knife. I'm gonna start cutting it. Yeah, it's got that nice crisp sound to it. Oh, and it's got that nice crunch when you slice into it. Yeah. Yeah, even though the butter did definitely start to melt beforehand. It's still a very good pie. And I'm using one of my shittier knives because I don't want to blunt my good knives on the uh, stoneware. And yeah, I was right about the, the filling and everything. It didn't deflate. It's about the same as where I found it. How big a piece do you want, mister? Oh, it smells like it smells like Thanksgiving just in a pie. get mine so yeah this is a, a nice way to use up Thanksgiving or Christmas leftovers the onions would cook a little bit more, but they're still crunchy somehow, and I, I just don't know how or why. Mm. There you is. I'm having one of these. Yeah, I think I'll have the other one. Shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have encountered a problem. Uh, so I'm just going to solve it by doing this. Uh, and hoping for the best. Ah, uh, okay. Well, since I've already dug into it and messed it up, uh, <laughs> no one else should feel bad about doing it themselves. So we're worrying about the onions. I thought between sauteing them and then sitting in there for fucking ever would salt them. They're still crunchy. Let's stick around their bake. I'll have them. No, I minced them. Oh. Oh. Do I have a bean? No, 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 no. Why do you so bother me? Oh, okay. It's, it's the wrong thing that does. I only, uh, I got a little bit of garlic powder for flavor, but... Okay. It's not... It, it's, it's the, the chopped up minced garlic that gets me. Oh, that's just so good. Mmm. Yeah, I like the little... That is good. Herb flex in there. From the pie crust? Yeah. Mmm. Makes it feel really fancy. Mm. Right. And that is so flavorful. It is so good. Crispy, tender pie crust. Juicy, flavorful pot pie insides. Roasted potatoes and carrots and stuff. Lucian says hi. Hi, Lucian. <laughs> I can't wait to dive into this. Well, go right on ahead. No one's stopping you. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining me and mine. For another adventure of cooking cobalt. Kitchen cobalt, we're cooking. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Expect some sort of sweet to be made, because I do like to have my alternate weeks. I like to have my savory weeks and my sweet weeks. So next week is going to be something sweet. I love you all. Stay safe out there. And be happy and have a fantastic fucking new year. And...